for my doubles on my foot, basically I, uh, I do the slide technique. It's kind of, well, it's almost identical to what Dave Weckl does. Um, and I first saw this on a video back when I was in college, but it's, it's on, on a VHS from the 80s. I'm sure you've seen it from his um, Back to Basics video. That's where I got the idea. Um, I used to play heel down, and um, I'll let you see this on the foot cam here. So. so I used to play, and I could never get doubles out. <laughs> Just like that, not, not consistently anyway. And um, heel toe. And I never felt real comfortable with that either. So basically I switched to heel up um, after seeing this video. So I was a, I think a freshman in college, it was a long time ago. And I spent a whole summer on it. And this is basically, I'm gonna give you the exact um, exercises that I worked on here. So the technique is basically this. So when I'm playing, you can see with my feet, I'm kind of resting with my heels off the ground. And I kind of think of it, you know, I'm kind of standing on my tiptoes, you know, not with my heels way up, but just in a comfortable position. That's my resting position. So if I'm, if I'm playing singles or any kind of bass drum stroke, once I hit the drum, that's my resting position. So let me show you just my normal stroke here, just my normal single bass drum hit. So I'm using my whole leg. And then again, as soon as I hit, I'm back in that resting position or that home position um, where the, and the weight is of my leg anyways at the front of the foot, um, kind of on the, I guess the, the balls of the feet here, um, right where the, the toes connect. Okay, so that's, that's gonna be your resting position or the position for the second note of the, uh, of the double. That's your home position. The way I think about this is for doubles, I basically just slide my foot back so that rather than being on kind of that the front of your foot, you're more on your, your toes. Again, I slide back just a little bit, you know, just like that. And now really the only thing touching the pedal is my toes. My, my foot doesn't come completely off the pedal at any point. But that's basically the position for the first note of the bass drum double. So here's the second note again, that's my resting position. Here's the first position or the first note of the double. One, two, one, two. You wanna kinda of get comfortable with those two positions. Even before hitting, hitting the bass drum, you can even do this uh, on the carpet. One, two, and actually if you do this and, you, and you're, you're uh, pressing your foot against the carpet a little bit, you'll actually get two notes. One, two, you can kind of hopefully hear this with my uh, microphone over here. And that's it, that's, that's basically the, the technique. Now, when I first worked on this, I would work on that first, uh, first position and then that home position. So I would actually hit the bass drum once I got comfortable with those two positions. So first note of the double, okay? So at this point, the pedal's pushed down with just my toes. Now, all I'm gonna do is go back to the home resting position. And when I do that, I get that second note automatically. There's that second note of the double. First note, second note. And I would just work on that by itself. Um, don't worry about speed, you wanna get the technique down first. And then eventually you work that up to uh, a speed where you're still not very quick, but at least it's starting to sound more like a double. One, two, and then a break. One, two, and then a break. And again, my foot never leaves the pedal, so I'm literally sliding along the footboard. So up to this point, we've been thinking about it as two positions or two motions. One, two. But now, start thinking about it as one motion as you go faster. One, two.
one, two. And notice when I do it, my leg only comes up once. I'm not going two motions with my leg like this. It's literally one motion with that slide. My, my leg comes up on the first note of the double, down on the second note of the double. So there's the one motion. So we're really trying to streamline everything. That's how you get the speed. And to me, that's still not all that quick, but I would spend some time there, really get comfortable with that, and just play a double, and then make sure there's a break, and another, another double, and make sure there's a break. We're not worried about tempo at this point, we're worried about technique. We want to make sure we're getting the technique down. So once you start to feel comfortable with that, then we can bring in a tempo and start working on building chops and building speed. The whole time though, you wanna be conscious of the technique you're using. Think about how loud or soft that first note is of the double, where you're on your toes, compared to the second note, where you're on the uh, front of your foot or that home position. You, you don't want the first note to be real soft and then the second note to be really loud. You want to try to make them even because that's what's going to really get that double stroke uh, kick drum note to, to stand out in your playing. So you want to try to make them both as strong as possible. Naturally, the second note of the double will be a little bit louder, and that's okay. But again, I try to make them as even as possible. So this is the literal exercise that I worked on or exercises you know, when I was first working on this. All I did, once I got the technique down, was a samba pattern. One, and a two, and a three, and a four, and a. That's all I'm doing. And again, don't worry about speed yet. Just get comfortable with that. Practice to metronome. So now, we're still thinking about technique, but we're trying to get it uh, consistent with a, with a, a tempo. So again, you can use your double bass pedal or just a hi-hat. I, I spent a whole summer doing that exercise, practicing this technique, and eventually you start building speed, and then you can start pushing things faster. Double pedal. went into the the second exercise um, as I slowed down there the second exercise is rather than playing in in duple or one and a two and a three kind of that 16th note feel we're gonna change it to triplets where instead of going right left right right left right right we're gonna go right left right right left right right left right right Double bass pedal. And 
then what I like to do is transition between the two. So this, I guess, would be the, la the third and last uh, exercise. So you go from duple to triplets. So basically from the samba pattern into triplets and back. That would sound like this. I'll just do it on the double pedal. I'm not doing this with a metronome, but of course you would want to do this with a metronome. And as you get faster, that difference between the 16th notes and the triplets gets smaller, so you really have to really concentrate on, on uh, really almost exaggerating that difference. So when you do the duple, you really get that three note flutter. And when you do the triplets, it's an even stream of triplets. So that's basically the technique I use for doubles with the foot. There's a lot of other applications. Um, at the end of that loop video um, that I currently have released, I'm basically utilizing the same technique uh, for doubles, but I'm just completely evening it out. So instead of doing ga ga ga, -ga I'm just kind of stretching it so that it's da -da 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 -da, just a single stream of singles. But you'll see my foot pivoting and sliding just like I'm, I'm doing doubles, you know. So that's basically it for the technique that I use for double strokes on uh, with one foot. Um, I'm going to have a, a bunch of lessons on drumangle.com that cover this topic and go a lot further, more exercises, uh, and also get into hand and feet combinations because the, the beauty of this is once you get doubles down, uh, there's just a ton of stuff you can do integrating that in with your hands. Anyway, hope that helps.